Hey everyone, I'm Lisa Curcio and welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. Three different adhesives. But do you know when to use them and what to use them for or how to use them? I'm gonna give you some great tips today on these three products. Let's start with this one. This is the snail adhesive. This is the one that most people are familiar with. This has 472 inches of adhesive on it. It is refillable. There's a small button on the top. You press it, the cartridge comes out. You keep the back, you throw this away, and then it's refillable by snapping it in. Great little thing about this product is this little travel door so that this stickies part won't get used up or tangled when it's inside your um, paper crafting bag if you're transporting it or even in your drawer. So this is a great product. Easy to use, ribbing here at the top is for your fingers. You lay it down and you just roll and you can see that it provides a nice area of adhesive and it's really easy to dispense and it's really affordable. Now it's strong, it will adhere paper to paper, but this is stronger. This is Fast Fuse. Now I'm gonna tell you, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little persnickety when you're first learning how to use it because it feels a little bit different than this one as far as the angle is concerned. Again, it is refillable. It's not as cost efficient as this one, but I will tell you it is super strong and this is great if you're trying to adhere heavier paper like corrugated cardstock to a base. So, so fingers go here on the bumps. When you get to the end, you're gonna pull sideways. And the reason is this is a very, very, very gummy adhesive. So if you don't, it's gonna to wanna to string itself off. I also then advance the tape just a slight bit when I go to use it again. You can see there's actually even a difference in the appearance. This is a little bit more matted. This is a lot more stickier than this. Next is tear tape. Love this because it's super easy to use and it's really strong. So you're gonna pull off as much as you need and it literally rips with your fingers. So you don't have to worry about sticking up your scissors. You are going to lay it down where you want it and it's important that you burnish it, which means rub it into the paper. Then what you're gonna do is you are going to peel off the white paper backing, which will reveal the other sticky side. And this one is really sticky. This will hold ribbon, this will hold a button, this will hold a ton of other embellishments, and it's my favorite for 3D projects. Boxes and bags and that type of thing. You can also do some other great things with this, which I'm gonna teach you in the next coming weeks. So I don't know what you're adhering or how strong it needs to be, but you've got three great choices here with Stampin' Up. The Snail, the Fast Fused, and the Tear Tape. 